Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore why NASA bent rules as Starliner docking face challenges. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore returned to Earth on March 19th after spending nearly 10 months in space. The two astronauts went to the International Space Station on the Boeing Starliner. The spacecraft was used despite the various problems identified during previous launch attempts. Before it could dock with the ISS, the capsule's thrusters malfunctioned. Even though the astronauts entered the ISS safe and sound, the situation during docking was much scarier than was revealed to the public. Starliner was launched from NASA's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida after two previous attempts were scrubbed because of a helium leak and later a ground computer hardware fault. Starliner reached orbit and continued to attempt docking with the space station, even though multiple thrusters had failed. NASA bent the rules and let it push further, which put the duo in a dangerous position. Butch Wilmore told Ars Technica in an interview that flight rules were waived off, which would have otherwise dictated that they return back to Earth. The thrusters malfunctioned during docking, and Wilmore said they became single-fault tolerant, which meant that if another thruster failed, the ground mission would lose full control of the capsule's movement. At this point, he revealed they both thought that they would be returning. We're single fault tolerant, and I'm thinking, wow, we're supposed to leave the space station, because I know the flight rules, he told Ars Technica. Back at the NASA headquarters, officials started discussing whether to go ahead with the docking or not. They ultimately decided to go ahead, and Wilmore isn't sure why that happened. We didn't know why we just dropped. The capsule soon became zero fault tolerant, and at this point, they could not turn back. Wilmore recalled that he was in manual control, which felt sluggish as compared to the first day. NASA started working to fix the reaction control systems remotely after four out of 28 had failed. Two of them came back online. Starliner finally docked, but not before creating a scare. It was supposed to return eight days later, but the plethora of issues led officials to decide against it. They worked to fix the problems remotely, but could not. So it returned empty. Meanwhile, Williams and Wilmore waited for a flight back home for nearly 10 months. They finally returned aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.